welcome to another virtual summer camp video. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you four different ways to play the game Pass the Water, um, whether you're by yourself or with a partner or with a couple of friends, siblings, cousins, or some more people who would like to play with you. So I hope you guys are all excited to learn how to play some water games. So all you're going to need for today are um, a cup for each person who's involved and would like to play. And if you'd like um, a marker to mark off um, your water levels, just so um, you can turn it into a bit of a competition and maybe see if you can catch more water this time than you did last time. And you're gonna need some water. So super easy peasy. Uh, definitely do this game outside because um, water's gonna go everywhere. So the first way to play is by yourself. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cup of water um, and you're gonna throw it up in the air and you're gonna see how much water you can catch. And then you can mark off the level of water you have and then fill it up again and go again and see if you can catch more. So if you join me outside, I'll show you how to play that version. It's just like that version, um, except there's two people. So each person gets a cup and you're all gonna toss your water into the air and try and see how much you can catch. Um, but in this version, instead of competing with yourself to see if you can catch more water than you did last time, you're gonna compete with the other person and see if you can catch more water than they did. So that one's super easy. is again done in pairs. This time both of you are going to have a cup but only one of them is going to be filled. So what you're going to do is you are going to stand facing each other and you're going to take about two steps back each or a step back each whatever you would like and then the person who's got water in their cup is going to toss the water towards their partner and their partner is going to try and see how much they can catch and toss it back and you're going to see how many times you can toss the water back and forth before there's no water left. The fourth way to play is again with a partner, um, but you can also play this version with um, three or more people too. So what's going to happen is each person is going to get a cup and you're going to make a line with the first person facing forward and then the next person facing the first person's back. What's going to happen is the first person is going to have a cup of water and they're gonna take their cup and they're gonna dump it over their head like that and the person behind them is gonna try and catch as much as they can. And then if you've got another person that wants to play with you or two more people that's gonna to wanna to play with you, the person who just caught the water is gonna to toss it over their head again and the person behind them is gonna catch it and so on and so on until you get to the very end of the line and you're gonna to wanna to see how much water you could have passed between you guys. And then you can do it again and see if you can do more the next time. Okay. Those are the four ways to play past the water, depending on how many people you have and how many people want to play. Um, with how hot it's going to be this week, I really hope you guys enjoy this water game and hope it cools you down a little bit. Keep it, um, an eye out for some more videos and some more Facebook Lives just for different activities for you guys to do over the summer. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you watch the next one.